Hello, I hope you guys remember me. This is me and this is my little brother. And today we're gonna get in a car and drive around central London until we're lost. And then we're gonna try and get back home without using a sat nav. So this is the no sat nav challenge and I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, as you can see, we've got a different bit of scenery today. We're in London, the Tower Bridge is somewhere over there. And behind us, as you can see, we have got a different car. It's a Fiat 500e and I'll get onto why we've got a different car for today's challenge. My theory is that millennials, like my brother, can't use a road map. Can you even read a road map? Nah, I can't. Back in the day, you had to pull over to get a road map out, look for direction to get to your destination. But nowadays, all you need is a sat nav. So I thought we'll come to like the center of London, get lost, like we're lost right now. I don't know where we're at and try to find our way back home. And the only way back home is if my brother directs us using a road map. And this is the plan so far. There is no plan because we don't even know where we're going or where we even are. Right, onto the reason as to why we're using the Fiat 500e for this challenge is because this video is brought to you with Onto. If you didn't know, Onto is the UK's largest electric car subscription service. Meaning cars like this Fiat 500 is available on a subscription basis. The best thing about Onto is that it offers to own an EV as a package, including miles, free charging at over thousands of charges in the UK and maintenance, meaning MOT and servicing is included, as well as breakdown cover. They also have a huge cost transparency and they don't have an upfront deposit when you go to get your car. Another thing I love about Onto is the flexibility of it. You're not locked into one car, so you can change models and talking about models you always have the latest models with the latest tech on onto usually getting a car is such a long process but with onto all you have to do is go onto their website order your ev and your ev will get delivered to you and i also do have to mention that cars like this fiat 500e is priced from 489 pounds per month with no upfront deposit onto is a great way to experience evs without the commitment and in my personal experience of owning this car for like a week honestly i've been loving evs like the ease of charging it at thousands of charges around the UK and even like the daily use of it in a packed city like London everything is so much more convenient and so much more easier and honestly I have changed my mind about EVs after driving this thing so if you've been waiting to get your hands on an EV now is the perfect time go check out Onto using my link in the description below and you can see for yourselves how great it is to own an EV using the subscription service and by the way my brother has to use the roadmap on his phone because for some reason every single petrol station that I've been to don't sell roadmaps anymore which is weird <laughs> this is the map I've given him I couldn't have found a more harder map to read bro Yes. You know you've got precisely one hour to get us to get us out of London. Okay. Are you sure you can do this? No, but I think I could probably do something. We are at Hart Lane near Heart Tower Lane. Bridge. Have you found us? Please tell me you found us. Peppy Street. Oh, that's Mark Lane. Bro, you got. We've got 59 minutes to get out of here. And we've literally still what sat here. Go out of? Bro, just all right, we, just find a way out of here. Okay, getting the car started up. The car is started up. That's a nice sound. Yeah, I know, right? I like that sound a lot. I'm still getting used to not hearing the engine noise, but here we go. So, yeah, there's a Fenchurch Street. So wait, 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 wait. Just go off. Where, where am I going? Where am I going? What is this? St. Dunstan's Hill. Dunstan's Hill. Mate, Dunstan's Hill. It, it literally doesn't say anything on here. It just says like the big areas. It doesn't say any of like the smaller areas. So where so am I actually stupid. going? Left or right? Can you even... When you go right... You sure? Because I don't think you can even go left, can you? Okay. Go right. Can you see any road signings? There's one... We're at the Great Tower Street. Great Tower Street. Great Tower Street. Please find the road. Can you see it? Is that Min Singh's Lane? That is Min Singh Lane. Oh, okay, you so found us, here. you found us, okay. I think we're here. What way, what way? Go this way then, left. Left? Yeah. Go left. Go left. We need to go... We need, so that to, is Min Singh, yeah, that's Yeah, here, so that's to, to, get, to get out of London, to yeah. go back home, we need to go towards like Leicester Square. Where am I going? They just keep going straight. But straight for how long? By the way, I don't know. I don't know where we're at. I don't know where we're going. I don't know where. I have no idea either. <laughs> Mate, why do these only say like the big road names? All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try looking for. There's, there's. Yeah, I think just keep going straight. 
it's it should be a, it should, yeah there's a monument it should be the monument one the monument 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 because it says on here the monument or a bank it says bank bank on here is it bank it says bank on here i don't know why but it says bank do you know where we are no uh. <laughs> bro you're supposed to be guiding me using the map mate it's pretty difficult it's very difficult if it doesn't have like the smaller areas. If it had smaller ones, it'd be so <laughs> Show much them, he's literally got a static map on the phone. Mate, look at that. Early early says like Fenchurch. Where where does it Bro, say? So like, am I going area? this? Am I going left or am I going straight right? Goes right, straight. Uh go where that bus is. Yeah? Yeah, go where that bus is. Have you rooted out a, a route to go to Leicester Square? I believe so. Oh goodness gracious. Goodness gracious! By the way, bro, just mm. to put less pressure on you, we're coming up to nearly 50 minutes left to get us out of here. Bro, where, where, does where, this street even exist? Or <laughs> where are we at now? I uh, Downgate Hill. Do you see a main street? There's like, a Queen Victoria Street. Is that where you want you want to go? I, well, we're gonna have to go there, aren't we? Because I saw a Queen Victoria. Oh yeah, that's Queen Victoria Street. Bro, you know what? I actually don't know where we're at. I don't know either. Friday Street, as I say? Bro, I can't remember. Fri Fri Friday, Friday Street. Friday Street. It says Friday. It's just a blurry sign. Oh, man, you need glasses then. No, because the... You need glasses, the optician bro. Said he needs optional. glasses. The optician said it's optional. Mate, he needs glasses, the bro. The optician... Mate, this is bad for him. This is... No, you know what it is? It's because I'm tired. It's kind of late in the day. Bro, brother, where are you taking us? Bro. I think we should just go around a tour of London. Oh, we, uh, no, that. no, I think uh, we're near St. Paul's Cathedral. Cathedral. Yeah, we are. Yeah, so so we're yeah, near. Yeah, okay. that, that means we're near the Millennial Millennium Bridge, from from my from my memory. Cheap Do you side. see a Millennial Bridge? I'm pretty sure you, bro. You, if you don't see a Millennial Bridge, I'm gonna take your glasses off and clean them for you. There is no bridge on the map. Oh my goodness, bro! I, the map's got a bridge. You see the water? The water is blue. All oh, right, there it is. Yeah, I see it. Okay, you see it. You see a millennial bridge? Millen millennium. Millennium. Millennial. It's millennium. Okay, millennium. Bridge. Yes, bridge. I do see it. Okay, take. You, sh we should go there. How about how am I guiding you when you're supposed to be guiding me? Well, if you just shut your mouth. Wake up! Oh, we're right here. This is Saint Paul's Cathedral. It's right here. Oh, is that actually Saint Paul's Cathedral? No, it's Saint David. Of course, it's Saint Paul. Oh, I, actually, I forgot. I didn't. I forgot how it looks. Okay, what 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 what, what, are, we, what are we doing? I don't know. Where are we going? Where are we at now, buddy? Uh, Ludgate Hill. Okay, yeah, I see Ludgate Hill. That doesn't say Ludgate, that says Lionsgate Hill. It's Ludgate Hill, you dummy. Right. It's Ludgate Hill. Think... Yeah, right, yeah, go there. <laughs> oh, I, I, could, I, could, I could smell Leicester Square. I could smell. All right, straight, yeah. Rex. Uh, yeah. So far, we winged it quite well. Our plan right now is to get to Trafalgar Square, then from Trafalgar Square to Leicester Square, then from Leicester Square to Knightsbridge, and then from Knightsbridge, I know the way back home. Where's Traff Square? It says a bus there. So it oh, should yeah, be this yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, we're, we're doing this, bro. Is that a street? I can't flip and see that. There's yeah. a street sign all I, the way there. I think you're blind. Let me let me have a look at this where. Right over there. Do you see that shop over there? Yeah, right. I see that. Yeah, what does it say then? Yeah, I see it. Wait, what does it say? Come on, no, 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 say it now. Yeah, wait, wait, let me get a bit closer. Yeah, how much closer? Yeah, Uncle's Kink. Oh, Cycling Ning. Decycling Ning. Ludgate Circus, what the? Oh, no, I'm talking about that street sign up there. Oh, Blank Street Coffee? No, no, right up the... Shush, sure, sure, please. Wait, 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 wait. I think we might be on Fleet Street. Do you see Fleet Street? Well, I think we have to be at least on Fleet Street. There, there, well, there's going to be a sign somewhere. Maybe one hour isn't enough for us to get out of here. Of course not. This map is, looks so outdated. 2016. Are you flipping kidding me, bro? Yeah. 2016. You never know what's happened in the last six years. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they haven't just put a road on top of a building or something. The roads are the roads. Okay, I'm sorry, but you say some of the stupidest stuff ever. Wait, look at you. You are the stupidest stuff. Hey, you're stupid. You're stupid. Hey, you're stupid. You're stupid. Oh, yeah. Strand was there as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strand. That's good. That means we're getting close to Trafalgar Square now. I just saw Strand. Why am I? I'm so excited for no reason. Because you're you're getting us out of here. About time. Yes. Bro, I've never actually seen this side of Sane. This Sane. Never seen this before. I've never seen. I've never seen this side of London before. 
This looks very nice, mate. I can't wait for Christmas. India house. <gasps> buddy, buddy, where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? What? This is what I mean, man. This is what. This is why London makes me rage. He's actually the most stupidest right, driver. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, keep going. Straight? Are we turning? No. Oh, the where? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, keep going here. Yeah, yeah. Is that, that's Oxford the bridge. Street. This looks like Oxford Street. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, no, you're wrong. Hmm, five senses. Thinking we're near Trafalgar Square now. I believe we are near. Because we're in Strand. We're literally in like the middle of it. We're coming towards McDonald's. Uh, Trafalgar Square. Oh man, I want McDonald's quite bad. Shut up. Charing Cross Station. Yeah, we're literally here. We're literally right next to Trafalgar. Are we? Bro, we're, we're actually here. I think we're at Trafalgar. Leicester Square is like on the side of Trafalgar Square. So we're gonna have to turn then, aren't we? Turn where? I don't know. Look at, look at your map. Turn what? Because we're at Charing Cross. Turn right then. We're gonna have to turn at least right, yeah. It'll be you right. Sure? Well, I don't really, I, there's not really much information here. Yeah, because it's like a route. I think there's oh, like there a is, there is. That's Trafalgar Square. Yeah. Hey. Bro, we're actually making it out of London. How did we just do that without a sat nav? Honestly, to be, I'll have to give it to you because even I don't know how to read a map properly. I'll be honest with you. We oh, just... wait, bro, I know this. Is that Leicester Square? I think I know this. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's that near Leicester Square. Yeah. Yes, I know this. I know this. I know that. I know this. I know this. I know this. Wait, I know where. I know where to go. I know where to go. Okay, listen. Who said London's confusing? Is it you? Uh, I don't know. We are, oh wait, this is definitely Leicester Square yeah, right no, here. No, this is that Piccadilly Circus. Sort of, yeah. So fi find, find, find. Uh, thank you. Wow, look at that Christmas tree. Mate, that's nice. Where are we going now? I th we're just gonna have to keep going straight. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. We can't go straight, it's either right or left. Actually bro, I know, I know where to go now. It's, it's actually left. We're here, we're here, we've done it, we've done it. Are we at Leicester? We're, we're at Leicester Square. Oh, we are? Well, Piccadilly Circus, but yeah. Well, that's so Bro, man. what? How was that this smooth? Oh yeah, we literally are. <laughs> bro, we've made it we're out. <laughs> Yay! Oxford Street's literally on the other side. We've actually completed the challenge easily. How have we done this then? Yay! Now, how have we done this? Uh, together. But how easy was that though? I didn't get it. Mate, I thought we were going to struggle. I thought I was going to struggle. So to answer your questions, millennials can read a map. And, and the example is me. And there we have it. We just completed the no sat nav challenge with ease. I've done a lot of driving challenges recently and some of them have been very challenging and I thought this one was going to be hard as well but it just goes to show that we can complete challenges easily. If you guys have any other driving challenges that you want us to do then drop it down in the comment section below and like always I'll give it a go. Yeah this challenge was a lot more easy than I expected it to be. It's all the war zone, all the war zone map using skills that he's had. He's used it in real life. I hope you guys enjoyed this challenge. If you did, drop a like and subscribe if you're new. And uh, I shall see you in my next video.